from around these here parts. But where I am from, I'm known as Snake Oil Sam, and I'm known for curing folks of their most aggravating ailments. Now, since many of you weary travelers are waiting to uh, rest your bones here at uh, the saloon, I am going to offer you the rare and unusual opportunity to purchase the finest cure-all products from around the world. Today, I'm just as pleased as punch to introduce to you my new discovery. It is a new tonic, named after my cousin Victor, who is now 103 years old, and just as spry as a mountain goat. Today, and today only, I'm prepared to offer you two bottles for the price of one. Now, is there anyone out here willing to take advantage of this off? Well, hang on a second, sir, and I'll tell you, but I believe I recognize someone out here. Ma'am, would you step up here, please? Oh, come on over here. What was your name again? B? Well, that's what I thought. Now, ladies and gentlemen, being here is living proof of what just one spoonful of this stuff can do after just two short months. You should have seen the bags under B's eyes. <laughs> Could have packed a whole wardrobe in them, B. <laughs> and those unsightly liver spots, why, they would have pulled a Dalmatian. B was all but lame from rheumatism. But no more. Now she's just as pert and sassy as a spring lamb, isn't she, sir? Well, don't answer that. Okay, B, you can step down. Now let's give her a round of applause, folks. <laughs> yes, sir. B there can tell you that nothing surpasses the healing powers of this juice. It is the find of the century. Cousin Victor's elixir's a surefire fixer for twitches and itches and ill. Keep a glass of potion, a salve or a lotion, a gargle, a pulses, or pills. Now let me read you a letter, and it's signed Happy Friend, and it says, I didn't have no beard, no hair on my head. Now I'm just your elixir, and I didn't play last week, and my joy got shot from there.
you're here to do. Miss Kitty, I'm going out back and load that supply wagon. Jesse and Charlie, when you finish cleaning up out here, meet me out back. Help him out, guys. Oh, Don't let me do it! This place is falling apart, and Bo, if I've told you once, I've told you many times, so slam the hell! people around here that you can shake a stick at. That gold will be ours and we'll be long gone. <laughs> he just handed over nice and peaceful like and nobody gets hurt. Uh, hey girls, did you hear little Tom P.K. finally kick the bucket? No. That man never was in thick of trouble. Now I suppose his ghost is going to come back and haunt us. Just get the gold, Kitty. All right, I'll, I'll go find my key. Come on, girls, I don't have all day. Try to get out of the Thanks, Bo. Now, Jesse, you've made your car. You two get out of here before I blow you from here in California. It's going to take more than your shaking arm to frighten away me, lady. I'll bet you could hit the broad side of a barn, much less come within two feet of it, Bugs. Well, enough of this 
daydreaming. You girls get on out back and help Bo here unload that wagon. Now, girl. Oh, oh, come on, oh, Kitty. Come on. Now, I'm not going to interrupt this little show thing, but I just wanted to make sure y'all knew as soon as it's over, you need to see my tour and magic show. It happens right out front, okay? Oh, and sir, if you show up, I'd be proud to offer you some of this here tonic, and that'll clear up that thing you got growing on your face. <laughs> oh, is that your nose? Oh, well, that's quite a snob, isn't it? <laughs> May I have some tonic? Sure. Mr. Oh. I've had about enough of your riffraff. Now, unless you cross my palm, the lights of the cattle medicine in this establishment, I'll have a law over here so fast your head'll spin. Now let's see that license, you weasel, or else. Well, it's in here somewhere. Just as I thought. Chef! He's all yours. State your given name. Snake Oil Sam. Snake Oil Sam, I hereby place you under arrest for the illegal selling of goods. I demand to see a judge. Okay. You have no right to do this. I am perfectly within my rights under state penal code number 784. Four, three, two, one, and I quote. You can quote all you want. I'm the judge. There'll be no argument with the law of this matter. I'm putting you out of business, mister. That'll be a five dollar fine for going against the rules of these parts. Pay the young lady. Now that settles it. Woo, I forgot how lucky I was to have the law right here on my doorstep. Not to mention Judge Poodle. And that's what I told him, too. you bet. 
Looks like we got the place to ourselves, Charlie. Yeah, and it's pretty dark in here, too. Charlie! So. Why don't you go behind the bar and get us a sarsaparilla? I'm going to look over here. Well, thank you. <laughs> Give me that. Jesse, tell me again. What are we doing here? We're looking for gold. No, I mean, why do we always have to be the bad guys? Charlie. Every great story's got to have a great bad guy, right? Well, let's think of all the great bad guys. Snidely Whiplash. The Cavendish Gang. Billy the Kid. Yeah. Yeah, I see your point, but you know, this bad guy stuff's just kind of hard work. I mean, what do you say we? What do you say we go straight? Yeah. Get a real job. Earn an honest living. Charlie! Step out of it! Step out of it! Step out of it! Sorry, boss. Must be that sarsaparilla. I don't know about you, Charlie. But you see, I was... Oh, I was born to be bad. <laughs> I've got a very evil eye and a reptilian demeanor. If I could squeeze a nickel from it, I'd take grandma to the cleaner's isle of forgery, extortion, and exchanging cattle for rand. But lately I've been getting into crooked evil plans. <laughs> I want your water rights, your mineral rights, and air rights, by the way. I love confiscation, intimidation, and owning all the land. But lately I've been getting into big and evil plans because the plot demands an evil plan. Yeah, to prove the good are good, someone's got to put them through. Even Shakespeare in his glory puts good villains in his story. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> Well, that's my excuse, Charlie. What's yours? Well, I'll tell you. 
You know a brain like you need muscle to make the action richer. You know a brawny goon and dark saloon is why I'm in the picture. Breaking arms and burning bars and stringing you from the yeah. can is why you need a guy like me for being an evil plan. Because the plot demands an evil plan. Yeah, the proof is good or good. Someone's got to put them through it. Even Shakespeare in his glory puts with villains in his stories. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> and I guess that someone is us. Yeah. How many years have we been together, Charlie? Five. Oh, let's Five. get back to work. It's a dirty job, but, but someone's got to do it. And 
the only way for us to do it is to work together. Oh, the light! Oh, I got an idea that might do the trick. Come here, buddy.
sitting now. Well, uh, it looks like they've got a cog tied, Kitty. I guess we'll have to give them the loot. The loot? The loot. Oh, the loot! Yeah. Well, I hope you are remarkably satisfied. You've caused enough trouble around here, that's for certain. Now take or keep a dick. I don't ever want to cross paths with either one of you again. Oh, my God. 